everyone, Sean, and today I'm going to be talking about the books I've read in November. So no November was a decent rain month for me. I only read five books for November, which is okay. I know I've read a lot of books from, from me, uh, like from me reading the books from September and October. I know my slow rain has slowed down a bit, but I'm not going to make a big deal of it because usually sometimes in an average I read like between four and 12 books usually and I'm not making a big deal of it just because I don't like train reading like a chore. So that's why I'm saying that I read this amount of books for this month and I can't wait to talk about all of them. So yeah, let's get to the books that I've read in November. So the first book that I've read November, well I started in October by finish in November, which is The Time Traveler's Wife by Audrey Nivinger. I'm sorry if I butchered the author's name, but it's basically about a man who has, who can time travel, but it's, they, it's more like a, um, a genetic um, disease, like he can't control his time traveling, and then, and then you end up being his future wife, and that's basically the premise of it, and I, I know I've seen the movie of it, that's why I'm trying not, I was trying not to compare the movie to the book as I was reading it, but I enjoyed it, I think it was a decent book, I liked Henry and Claire's relationship, even though there was one scene in the book that really bucked the heck out of me, and I'm not going to say what it is, because spoilers, because, yeah. But it was a decent read. I liked it as much as the, the movie, since I've seen the movie before I read this book. And yeah, and I know that the author's working on the sequel, which is about their daughter, so I am excited for that, because I'm kind of curious about it since I've heard about it. And I'm like, wait, a sequel about the main character stars from the previous book? That's interesting, so... Yeah, I'm excited about that. I don't know when that's coming out, but I know it's coming out soon, but I don't know when. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a little tickle in my throat there. But anyways, I, I enjoyed it. It's been on my, I'm glad that I finally got this read after it's been on my TBR for so long, and yeah, it was a four-star read for me. And the next book that I've read in November is Mr. Magic by Kirsten White. This is basically about a group of former child actors, um, have I now reunion to solve uh, what caused the show ended and I thought it was really interesting it kind of literally the synopsis kind of remind me of what would happen if the kids from Barney reunited to solve a mystery on what happened and what got the show canceled and all that like I hate that doing that comparison but it did remind me of that and I really enjoyed it more than I did I didn't think it was a I know it's like considered like quote unquote horror, but for me, like a lot, a lot of horror novels have mystery elements to it. That's why I count it as a mystery. And I enjoyed it more than I thought I would, even though it was like maybe under 300 pages, if I remember correctly. And I, I thought it was really enjoyable. I thought the characters were really interesting and the whole plot kind of kept me going. Like I couldn't put it down because I want to know what happens next. And yeah, it was a really, um, a good a decent read for me and yeah and I gave it four stars and the next book that I've read in November is Vengeance of the Pirate Queen by Trisha Levenseller yes I've read this as soon as I got in the mail I was like I can't wait anymore so yeah this is it does takes place in the same world as Daughter of the Pirate King duology but this is it does takes place in the same world but it's not considered like a a third book in the series it's basically about um Serena, uh, Serenda, who's the, um, Al Alosa's, um, assassin. I almost forgot, um, what her role was for Alosa's crew, but I honestly love this book so much. I couldn't put it down. I just glad, I was happy to be back in this world, and I love the characters in this. And this literally reminds me of some of the things, uh, that my husband likes, even though he's not gonna read this per se, but it did remind me of the show that he likes it adores. So yeah, I really love Sor um, Sorenda. I love the ca other characters in this book. I just couldn't put it down because I'm like, I miss this world. I'm really happy to see these characters again. And yeah, this was a, definitely a five-star read for me in case you couldn't tell. And the next book that I've read in November is Shadow of Night by Barbara Harkness. This is the sequel to A Discovery of Witches. If you haven't read The Discovery of Witches, is about a woman who is a Oxford scholar and who's also a witch and she guards this uh, manuscript and then she runs into this um, vampire who is going after it and then they end up having a romance and I adore I adored the first 
book, I honestly forgot. Like, I gave it uh, four stars. I thought I gave it five stars, but I still enjoyed it either way. I enjoyed this as much as the first book, and I honestly miss Diana and Matthew. I love their relationship, and seeing how, um, how they're struggling, um, with the world that they live in, and I just really like the world. It's, it's urban fantasy, obviously, but yeah, I, it still feels like a, a fans, a fantasy that takes place in a different world that is not my own, and that's what I liked about it, and yeah, I was surprised on how quickly that I read it. I read it when I was off from, uh, for Thanksgiving for work, so yeah, and because I, um, because of my, um, job that I'm at, and I'm just really surprised on how much I read this really quickly, and I haven't read the first book in three years, so I was surprised that I was like, wait, this happened? So I forgot some things that happened in the first book, but I, but I still really enjoy this book either way, and I can't wait to continue on with the series, and yeah, this was a four-star read for me. And the last book that I've read in November is These Vengeful Hearts by Catherine Lauren, and from what I remember from this book, it's about a girl whose sister that got into a car accident and she's trying to take revenge on uh, a group of main girls called the Red Court and she thinks that they're responsible for her sister's exes and she's trying to take revenge on them and I was disappointed with this one. I know I've had this book on my TBR for a long, a long time too, like at least three years and I was sad that I didn't enjoy this and I got this from a book box like a few years ago and I thought the premise was interesting. But there were just a lot of things that I was like, what? I, I was like bored the whole time and it was like really hard to get into it. But I, I, if I did do this for um, a reading vlog, I would have DNF'd it. But I read through the whole thing, didn't like it. And I just, I thought the premise was interesting, but it's still not, it wasn't good enough for me to enjoy the book overall. So yeah, this was a two star read for me, sadly. So that's all the books that I've read in November. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and comment down below what books that you've read in November because I would like to know. And if you haven't already, click the subscribe button and click the bell icon so you'll be notified if I ever post new videos. Also, you can follow me on social media like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads, which all links will be down below for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!